Hello Z-Bird. Today we're back to clean up more Bikini Bottom in the Power Wash Simulator SpongeBob SquarePants DLC. In this video, we power wash the Paddy Wagon, the Invisible Boatmobile, and the Mermelair. Let's get started. So we're in front of the freshly cleaned Krusty Krab and Chum Bucket. We washed this up in the last video, but now we're here with the Paddy Wagon, which is I think from the SpongeBob movie. SpongeBob and Patrick are riding this thing around so, so cool. So of course, Sandy's gonna be messaging us. Holy mackerel, SpongeBob said things were messy, but this here's muckier than a mad moose on a, in a marsh. <laughs> Whoa, well, I don't think it'll take us too long to clean this up. So I guess we'll just work through it as soon as we can. Of course, we gotta get that windshield cleaned up. Anyhow, don't mind me. I'm just gonna quietly go about detecting my detecting business. All right, well, thank you, Sandy. Good luck with everything. Well, we're gonna make this thing look good enough to eat. That is for sure. I think we'll just run through with the normal pasture, but we probably also have soap. We're looking for the three M's. Means, motives, and opportunity. Ha. All right, well, good to know. I do think, like I said, we'll probably put on some soap if we have any. I guess not. But first, the crime scene itself. Is this a crime scene? I don't know, I think it just got dirty. Don't know if that's much of a crime. But uh, Sandy's still messaging us here. Uh, looks like some kind of spontaneous dirtification. Oh. Yeah, if it happened all overnight, that is sort of concerning. I love the pickle wheels, those are so cool. All right, let's get over here, clean up the back side of it. At this rate, we really will make quick, quick work of this. There's no soap available though. But I'm just trying to get like an initial coating of just water, blasting it, get all the easy stuff off. None of its surroundings are affected, just the wagon itself. Uh oh, it's almost like they've been repeatedly pecked at by some mysterious and hostile beast of the deep. I can only imagine it was like, what is that one bad guy's in the dirty bubble? Had to be them, right? And it looks like we got like the initial amount done. Whatever did this has one, al al one almighty mouth on its hands, or should I say its face? <laughs> I guess so. Let's clean up the tire a bit more. I don't think we've actually fully cleaned any part of it just yet. Let's go ahead and get the little number plate to go. Very nice. And then maybe we, work, we can work on the wheels a little bit. Like we have this pickle wheel over here. A couple of sides over this way. We got it nice and clean. Let's go ahead and do this one. And then over on this side. Okay, I should be able to get this one in just a moment. I hope. What are we missing with it? Oh, back here. Got it. So there's the first or the second pickle done. Oh, and there's a back license plate as well. Glad we got that. This might be a good time to just try to get the back parts of this fan. Got most of it there, but then on this side, sort of more of the same. Got it. Okay, there's the propeller cleaned. It definitely this little crevice under the patty. It's got to be cleaned up a little bit. And then definitely also this wheel. Cool, cool. Little tiny bits of sand here and there. There we go. I wonder if it's a bumpy ride with how like the shape of these pickles are. I have to imagine it's maybe not the smoothest thing to drive, but maybe the adds extra traction over the sand. That might be the idea. Okay, let's go through here and get this all cleaned up. Under the patty and the lettuce and cheese as well. Let's work on the patty first. We'll walk around just like this. All right, uh, I think that's it for the patty then. Or maybe a little bit more on this side. Okay, we're good. I think for this one with the shape of it, I might wanna do this nozzle. I thought this would be a better idea just because it can sort of get under some of those spots a bit better. And this all counts as like the patty, but like it doesn't actually say it's like the lettuce. Like we got the bottom bun down here, but I guess that's different. We're missing some kind of piece for the bottom bun. So I'll have to keep looking for that. But the lettuce and the cheese count all as part of the patty, it seems. Okay, definitely get under there. I might have to stand up a little bit more just for a better angle here and there. Much better. Cause it really got in there. Okay, we got the, oh no, the cheese is different. What about the lettuce? No, the, see that just it counts as like weird. I don't really know. Uh, Could it be the plankton army? I hope not. What part of this patty are you still, or this bun? There's a little bit like under, but I don't see how we would get that. 
Okay, what about right over on top of that? And then just along the rim of it. There we go, the bottom bun is clean. Much better. Let's keep working on this lettuce then. The plankton's only interested in this Krabby Patty formula. Well, maybe if he made it dirty, I don't know, we can get the formula somehow. Is there anyone or anything who could have had a vendetta against so many people? Who knows, quite the mystery. Oh, so each little corner is its own cheese. Gotta keep that in mind. And who could pull off such a stunt without anyone noticing? Whoever it is, must be pretty sneaky. So we got this. Like even when I put my mouse over it, yeah, it doesn't actually say cheese anywhere, which is weird. Oh, under here too. Every time I think I've gotten all the pieces of the lettuce, more of it start popping up. Oh, right over there. Come on. I see some more in this one. So far, so good. Little tiny bits there. And then let's stand up a little bit. And crouch down for a while, probably. Probably not good for our character's joints, right? Uh, I'm not seeing too much more here. I, I'm gonna have to, no, definitely in there. So that's where it's just really difficult to reach in there. I think this is the best nozzle for it. If not, it might be this one. Okay, maybe just a straight shot's a little bit better. Hard to say. Just gotta keep working on it. But now I'm getting a little progress meter for the lettuce. Wish we could sort of take the car apart. Whoa, wait a minute. We can open the hood. Oh, that's so cool. I'll close it for now. But that is really neat. We'll have to open that up later. What a fun little detail. Okay, cheese cleaned on that side. Really just trying to get in these little crevices, but it's so difficult to get everything in them. Even when I get all up close. Sometimes I feel like getting close isn't really the best angle. It doesn't really reach in there. Okay, here's another one. There we go, that was the double clean right there. Excellent. So, let's change some things up a little bit. I think I wanna go back over to this and definitely work on this top bun a little bit. The problem is when I press the bun to see all of the, the dirt, it's the same color as the patty, so it doesn't really help me see it any better. What about these brake lights? Oh no, whoa, wrong button. Uh, looks like I can get it a little bit from there, but oh, on this side for sure. There we go, there's that one brake light cleaned. This one still needs a little bit of work somewhere. Got it. And do these seeds count as their own things? I don't think so. We'll work on this antenna in a moment, but it looks like, oh, does this all count as the top bun too? It does, so inside of here, oh, look at this. Super satisfying, we get a bunch of it there, all the controls and dials and stuff. Very nice, very nice. So I guess the inside is what I was really missing when it comes to this patty, or this bun. This is gonna be one delectably clean vehicle by the time we're done with it. Got the grilled seats. Uh, there's only one, I, only one I know who has the vicious, the speed, the guile, and the diameter to do such a thing. Ooh, I wonder who our leading suspect is then. It's got to be. Leaving me in suspense, I wanna know. Who is it, Sandy, who is it? Got the spatula cleaned. Maybe it'll only tell me when I'm like a certain percent through. Don't send me the dot, dot, dot. You know I'm eagerly waiting. Okay, we got a little, is that the, the, the stick to the vehicle? Gotcha. <laughs> what is Sandy doing? All this dramatic suspense. We got the stick mount, or the stick gear mount cleaned. Nice. And uh, could we activate it? We could open the hood from here. Still working on more of the top on though. I think, one minute, I just need to recharge my device. <laughs> All right, you go do that, Sandy, we'll keep cleaning. Uh, oh, there's a little bit more of the windshield right under there, the windscreen. I'm trying to find different angles to uh, clean up this right here. Oh, get some of that. Yeah, hard to really reach this. Do I have the, I the shortest nozzle on it, it's still too close. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave that be for now. We have the hood open, we also have these headlights. 
that I can work on a little bit. There's one headlight. And then a little bit more on this side. Got it. Headlights cleaned. If we just look over here. Well, actually, let's do this part first. There we go. Hopefully, Sandy gets back to us soon, though. There we go. We got the hood cleaned. We'll go back out of this mode. And there's a bunch of stuff in here. The engine fryer. Ooh, cool. So we'll just sort of point blank stare at it to get all this clean. All those dials, the engine dials, all cleaned up. Very nice. I'll go back through again. Got to clean the engine bay. We'll probably have to hop on top of there to really get it super clean, because there's a lot of crevices to this one. I can see this being a bit tricky. I can see it, what they mean about it being a fryer, though. With the little, the little french fry baskets and everything. Interesting. So I'm just trying to go through it little bits at a time until this thing is sparkling. All right, getting across like this. And, okay, we got the engine fire basket cleaned. But this one still needs some work. Got it. Okay. Do you see right there that there's some stuff? But it gets a little awkward because I can't. I wonder if I should just use the stool. That's probably a more practical way to do this. So I stand on the stool, just like that, get a much better angle. So, the fryer needs some work somewhere. I think this is where we go back to the wiggly one because that one has a way of just sort of getting into the little corners and stuff. Just like that, we got the engine filter cleaned up. Back over there, I see a few things. We got one of the engine pumps cleaned. Can we get the other one all cleaned up? Maybe. And I do see that the engine bay is all cleaned up now. Uh, the top on engine fryer, here we go. Ooh, yeah, from this angle, you can see there's so much to clean up. Got it, that's the engine fryer cleaned. And then, it said something, the engine bay, of course, but the engine distributor holder, there we go. Pump cleaned. Is there anything else? Maybe? A little hard to tell. Got it, awesome. That was the engine distributor. The holder is this thing right here. I'm getting some of it, but really hard to get the rest. A lot of just tough angles. Okay, I think we need to go back to working on this bun though. Everything under here is looking pretty squeaky clean. So if I hop up this way, I do see all of this stuff. I'll have to go like this. Oh, you know what? Yeah, this little spot back here with these crevices might be what I'm looking for. Maybe? Hmm. Oh, let's get this antenna while we're looking at it. Oh, nice. It has a little crusty crab uh, flag. That's pretty cool. Oh, we finally got the top one cleaned. Awesome. That took a lot of work. But we'll get the antenna done from this side. We got the flagpole, I mean, and flag cleaned. I don't know why I thought it was an antenna if there's a flagpole on it, but what more are we missing? The steering wheel still needs a little something. That got it. So, okay, the seat down there. We got the footwell cleaned. I do see a little bit more on the chair here and there. Got it, grill seats clean. So what are we missing? The engine distributor holder and the cheese. There's one more cheese somewhere that needs cleaning. Is it this cheese? Doesn't seem like it's this cheese. Is it this cheese? It is this cheese. Oh, right over there. A little over here. Yeah, the color with, like I said, that points out the dirt blends in a little bit. So now it's just this one engine distributor holder, which I think is this like little triangle shape thing you can sort of see. Let's move this for now over there. I see a little bit in there. I wanna switch back to this nozzle. There we go, we got it! So the paddy wagon is all cleaned up. Looking good. All right, let's go, and go ahead and close the hood. Nice view of everything. So let's see how our job progressed here. We just ride around the whole thing. We were definitely on our knees a lot with this one. But by the end of it, we were all cleaned up with the paddy wagon. Jumping jellyfish, that's the paddy wagon, all right. By the way, did Cindy tell you that she's cracked the case? Uh, we're calling in Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. They're the only ones who can stop the grubby fiend. The grubby fiend, huh? 
We just have to find out who that is. But for right now, we need to clean up the invisible Bowmobile. Whoa, there's evil afoot, evil. But it's no foot, amigo. It's a bubble, a dirty, dirty bubble. And he's been painting the whole town brown. We tracked him to the jellyfish, jelly field fishes. No wait, the jellyfish fields. But he cornered us and I didn't think around I didn't think a round thing could do that. <laughs> Finally, he sucked us in with his awesome surface tension. We managed to pry our way out with Barnacle Boy's rough, rock-eating tongue, but the invisible boatmobile is a wreck. It's covered in every type of gunk you'd find and an all you can eat if you were a clam. <laughs> Barnacle Boy says you have so some kind of squirter that can pressure into working for you. <laughs> I respect that. All right, then, see, let's go and clean the invisible boatmobile. So we're here in Jellyfish Fields, and here is the boat we need to clean up. Well, you can see, I guess this is where the battle happened. They were able to drive out of there, pull a big drift. I wonder where it goes. I'm so curious. Uh, Just off that way. Oh, I can't run any farther. Still, that's pretty cool. Very peaceful out here. I definitely like it. Um, But let's try this out. Jellyfish Fields, the invisible boatmobile. Once we clean it, we can see right through. Whoa, that's so neat. Sandy Cheeks was right. We gave chase to those, to the dirty bubble, hightailing it away from the paddy wagon with a big, filthy grin on his face, as if he could have any other kind of grin. All right, well, let's go and get this on. And look at the boat actively disappear. This is such a fun one, because I guess it'd just be easier to notice the, bo the, the, the dirt, but as we get rid of the dirt, the harder it is to find the boat. Oh my gosh. So if we were to just clean it off from this angle, we just wouldn't be able to see it at all. Right, so it's just, it's so weird. Like it doesn't look like there's anything here. But then if I turn the angle, there is something here. Don't you worry, kiddo. We're gonna wipe that big dirty grin, clean off that dirty bubble. Well, good luck with that. All right, I just wanna wash this side for now. Just like that. Just as soon as we've wiped down our shoes, the mud's steep here and I don't like it one bit. Well, good luck, Mermaid Man. We're busy cleaning up everything here. All right, so I'm trying to work on the outside of the, the boatmobile to start with, just like that, and then this little wheel over here. So I guess I got something done there, the side hole. This wheel still needs to be cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> I look like I'm just crawling into nothing, but nope, there's a boat here, just like that. Just like that. All right. Try to get this. Very cool. Now we spotted him bobbing evilly north. So they're chasing, they're, they're having like a heroic adventure right now while we're cleaning up the boatmobile. The sooner we get it cleaned, the sooner they can use it to chase him down. So I guess it's uh, pretty important that we make quick work this time. Um, wait a minute. Do you realize what's north of here? Uh-oh, what's north of here? I'm not quite sure. But maybe you'd be uh, faster catching him if you weren't texting us. Do you think Mermaid Man is a fast texter? I, I don't think he would be. I don't, I have no sense of direction. Oh no. Well, he's, he's on the phone, he can just use the GPS. Ooh, okay, let's work on this side now. Quite a lot of splatters on this thing. Oh no, I wonder if these pink, are these pink splatters supposed to be like jellyfish jelly from rushing through jellyfish fields? That might be the case. We're almost through this thing already. So that's pretty nice. Just gonna keep cleaning this up. Slowly but surely. Uh, Barnacle Boy says that due north is Goo Lagoon. Gotcha. Maybe that's the next location we'll go? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Clean up some of this. And it's the under part that could be really hard to see. Uh, but I don't care who's do what. If the dirty bubble makes it that far, we can all kiss goodbye to at least seven colors of the rainbow. Oh my, that would not be good. There we go, we got the side hole cleaned over here. It's so hard, it is, the boat's almost gone. Uh, we'll get that cleaned. There is the, the flag over here too. Got the front of it there. It's little bits of it, there we go. Oh, it's so bizarre. Whoa. <laughs> okay, Um, get this part all cleaned up. 
Just wherever I see dirt, I just gotta spray it. Got the bow clean there, or the bow, however you pronounce it. All these jellyfish are really testing our supply of antihistamines. Interesting. Uh, I'll just leave him to the superhero stuff. We'll just keep cleaning. We got a bunch of the gauges cleaned over this way. Mermaid Man has already already has a rash from being inside the dirty bubble. Oh no! So now we're getting text from Barnacle Boy. Didn't think to check the sender. Okay, almost there. We're having to apply a real pharmaceutical matrix out here. <laughs> Lots of fancy stuff going on. Actually, I don't think I need this just yet. Switch back to this. On the sides of this thing, I'm just sort of spraying away. Pretty similar to like, you know, the uh, paddy wagon, where I just have to work with all the small crevices eventually. I wonder if this one will have a hood to open up. I should look around for that. I mean, I guess we'll see soon enough, but we're getting a lot towards the end here. We've got the motor cleaned, and this is the rocket booster. What's down there? Okay, we got the brake light, so is that back here? You would think. I don't see a thing. Uh, it's hard to tell where it is anymore. Um, it must be under? Okay, I see this, there you go. Door handle? It's, I can't tell where the car is anymore. Is this it? Got it. And then windscreen. I guess this right here, I sort of see it. Oh, where'd it go? I think it's right here. Oh, under here. Almost got it. Yeah, I see, I see. Got it, we did it! The invisible bowmobile is properly invisible now. This looks so cool, I like the outline too, whoa. So with that finish, we'll watch our progress with this one. Once again, a really satisfying clean as we get to watch this boat practically disappear before our eyes. Quite the magic trick. All right, by the sleeve of Neptune, you've done it. The invisible boatmobile looks fantastic, I assume. It's so good to not see it again. Now get a load of this news. It'll blow your fins off. We finally apprehended the dirty bubble. Caught him in the act, the act of evil. Open mouthed he was, and inches away from Goo Lagoon. Can you imagine? I can't, I have no visual imagination. But when you get inside the mind of a criminal, you don't need it. You can guess their every move. And we got inside more than his mind, we got inside his very being. We're headed to the Mermel Air now, where he can be safely in tartar serrated <laughs> to the Mermel Air, Barnacle Boy. All right, let's keep going. We have the last one, I think, the Mermelair. Whoa. Welcome, friend, welcome to the elusive prison of Fengor. No, wait, I mean the Mermelair. I live here, don't I? And guess what? That dirty, dirty bubble is struck again, this time within our very walls. Don't ask me how, but he escaped, ran around, dirtied up the place before, quick as night, sneaking back into his impregnable hold uh, for, from which escape is impossible and look what he's done to the place. He's made the whole nine yards look like it's a festering mess of negligence. And for what, revenge? I'd like to see him try. Do something, kid, before we descend into a pit of self-loathing and crime in Bikini Bottom spirals out of control. And don't forget those nooks and crannies. Crime flourishes where anglerfish fear to dredge. All right, well this one's definitely gonna be the most intense job we've had so far. It is an entire lair that we need to clean up. But you know what, I'm up to the task. All right, whoa, this place is filthy. What do we start with? Well, there's a photo over here, the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy photo. Uh, um, this doesn't look like the work of the dirty bubble to me. Oh, here they are. Oh, this is so cool. With like an old school comic book style to it. I like it. Let's just clean this off. And we got the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy photo all cleaned up. Uh, it won't turn off, there it goes. Looks more like years of persistent during inefficient cleaning techniques. Yeah, that might be the case, SpongeBob. I don't think they'd ever admit to that, but might be the case. I mean, can you blame them? They're busy fighting crime all the time. I'm trying to clean up the, uh... there we go. Now, what about the door, the entrance door? Let's go ahead, oh, we actually have cleaning liquids this time. I might save them for the bigger things. Right now, I just wanna go up and down with a wider nozzle like this. I guess I could do this. Oh yeah, the barnacles there. Take a little bit more effort to clean off. But we're getting there. Got it. Okay, let's switch over to this. Wait, no. There. 
just to get those little extra crevices. Just as Mermaid Man said, all the milk and crannies. Get up there a little bit. Rotate it back around. Getting those spots might be a little bit difficult from this angle, but I'm sure there'll be a stool around somewhere that we can use. And then once we get this, yeah, we get down on the floor like this way. And then boop, boop. Oh, wait, wrong way. Here we go. Get extra little details, because this is just all the entrance door. It doesn't look like there's like any kind of like smaller pieces to this. So we got some of this way up here. We got some more things. Just trying to get the underside while I can. There we go, entrance door all cleaned. That was great. So I will get out of this mode, stand up straight, and try this out. This is probably just the doorbell, right? I mean, I guess the doorbell wouldn't be on the, oh, it's the entrance door button. Yeah, the doorbell wouldn't be on the inside. Ooh, how would that be helpful? Okay, there's that done, so the entrance is figured out. We got the cool picture. Am I supposed to clean the walls? I guess not, but we can clean this orb of confusion. I do remember this. We got the switch. I can switch it on. Oh, I uh, I forget what noise SpongeBob makes when he, when he turns that on. He's like, duh. <laughs> All right, well. Luckily, we can turn it off before we have an issue there. But it's really cool that they made it so that you can turn it on and off. Fun little detail, for sure. Okay. Just trying to clean up this orb as much as possible. It's going to be confusingly clean. Oh, right up there, maybe? Almost, but not quite. Mm. Okay, let's just focus on the pedestal of it. I'll run around this side. Just like that. Oh, we got a clean orb of confusion. Nice. And then around here. Got it. Looks like we might be able to find a little bit more of the dirt and grime on this side as well. There we go. So I think this whole thing is figured out. What is this? The wall of superhero gadgetry. Oh no. There are so many things on this wall. So many things. So we'll just do a quick pass through like this. It's gonna take a lot of work. This is gonna take a lot of work to get through. Not just this thing, but the whole room, the whole floor here is just covered in filth and grime. But luckily with each one, we're seeing more of this really cool gadget wall. Tons of interesting things here. I'm definitely gonna need the ladder to help me out. And I think I will do this. How's that work for us? Uh, not so bad. A little bit more up there. We clean the slippers. Oh, there's more up there like that. Ready? Right now I'm just focused on the wall itself, but if that is my focus, I need to check out the side over here. Yeah, different angles like this will help us clean up a lot more. There we go. I'll definitely want to use the stools and the ladder soon enough, but for now this works. Here, we'll use a closer one. And do we have the farthest out? We don't. Let me try this. Maybe this would be a little bit better. I mean, maybe it wouldn't make much of a difference. Hard to tell. I think I'm gonna go back to this one. Seems like it was working better. Oh, is there stuff behind it too? That'd be difficult to get to. Let's try the other side now. Just like this. And then over here. Let's go all the way down. And then all the way back up. That gets it pretty good. Cleaning up more of this stuff on this side. There's just so many little objects, and that's definitely what can make this kind of thing difficult, is just so many tiny little details to miss. I gotta get a closer one, I think. So we'll go back to here, go back to this one, maybe? That feels like it's working better. Okay, we got more of it cleaned. The two walkie-talkies, we have a, what is this? The bubble wand of doom, got it? The bubble wand of doom container. Okay, uh, these are the WOSSG shell comms, which I got clean, right? Maybe I didn't? Okay, wait, they are. This is the wall of doom, or the wall of gadget gadgetry. <laughs> uh, and this is what? There we go, got it. What about over here? And is this the closest nozzle? It's not. Now they're getting all up close and personal. This is the radar boot. <laughs> what do you need a radar boot for? Who knows, I'm not a superhero. Anyone's guess is as good as mine. This is the aqua glove, looking pretty intense. That can probably pack a punch. Is it dirty inside of it? I guess so. 
and then we also probably want to go under it a little bit like that the glove is cleaned this is the paddle ball of fury <laughs> looks like a very dangerous toy and this is just a cosmic ray and there's definitely yes yeah, some more gunk and grime what about on this side I think I want to just get under it like that little bits out of time until this thing's fully clean. There's the cosmic ray. What about behind the special bender? Huh, got it. Not so bad. But this special bender still has little things with it that are not clean. Okay, yeah, the underside. Gotta remember the underside. This is the Ultra Grinder 3000. I thought it was like a crazy telescope. I nope, I guess it grinds things up. Okay, got some of that under there. I guess I'll just clean up the rest of this under here while we're at it. So what is this? The squid ink bomb. See some more on the top of it. There we go, get that one cleaned up pretty easily. And then the crustaceous hammer cleaned up. Where is, oh there it is. I was gonna say the little extra spot for that one. The aqua rang. I think it's gonna be a top piece of it, right? Maybe not, there it goes. And what about this murmuring? And this, this is just like a little snorkel decide, or disguise. Got it. One little bit at a time we get through this. The tartar gun definitely is one of the more difficult ones just because there's a lot of little details to it. But it looks like maybe up here. This is where I definitely need the stool. We're getting a little higher up. So if I could just put it down like this, it'd be great. Maybe that works. Uh, I wish I could get it closer. Why not? Okay, from here. Got it. So what am I missing? I think it's just behind the sort of blaster part. There we go, we got it. And we're on top of this now, which might be for the best. Okay. Yeah, the, the lunch box here. And the Wumbo belt, the utility belt. I always think of it as the Wumbo belt, very cool. We got the lunch box cleaned. Over there we got the, the shell bra. Okay. Oh no. Uh, let's try to get back up here if we can. Because there's still more of this wall we need to figure out too, like the actual vault that's holding all these things up. Now they're, ooh, we're way up here. Fancy jumping is gonna really help us out. I'll try to clean up this stuff then as much as we can while we're here. Got it, so the wall is done. It's just all the gadgets atop the wall that matter. So anything I can clean up from this angle would be good. Okay, doing pretty nice there. I might want to just try to ever so slightly get a little closer. Got that belt. These slippers are done. This sailor cap is done. The radar is good. The oxygen tank still has a little bit more right there. Okay, I think that means that everything over here is all finished up. Seems like it. Okay, cool. What else do we wanna work on? Let's try this thing. This is the electrical device. Whatever it does is a mystery, I suppose. I guess we'll just try to walk around it like this and just get like an initial cleaning wherever I can. Oh no, Ooh, what I meant to do. It's making some electrical noises. That's for sure. So I'll just go around it like this as much as I can. There we go. Then we'll get on all the ground here and get a whole totally different angle. This is definitely gonna take us a lot of time though, for sure. Okay. And we do still have soap left over. I'm trying to save it for when like if we really get a little tuckered out from all this cleaning. We have a while to go until then. Plenty of energy to make this place sparkling. There we go. I think it's just really this underside I'm working with now. This is all part of the device body. So whatever we can clean up now of this lower part, the better for later. There we go. I think after this a little bit, we can sort of stand up. So I just try to get this crevice. Easier to do that at like a straightforward angle than anything else. Okay. Then let's try this again. 
So I'm really curious to see what this electrical vice even is, or electrical device. I think that this is maybe a spot where I can use at least a larder cleaner. Here you go. That'll help us stay productive. I just want to turn all of this into sparkling clean metal. And I think once we get this spot, this is where I can sort of stand up, maybe from this angle. Just go up and down the thing instead of side to side. It might be just a little bit faster that way. Go, I'm just really trying to wash away all that dirt and grime. So I'm pretty sure, like I said before, this might be the last one of the DLC, which if it is, I'm a little sad to see it go. But this has been a ton of fun. So maybe at some point they'll add more SpongeBob levels. I would like that. Or maybe just other DLC in general, just other things like this. I wouldn't mind seeing it. I've definitely, you know, this is my first experience with Power Wash Simulator, this whole DLC, and it's earned a special little place in my heart for being a fun, satisfying little game. Okay, we're getting over here, washing this stuff up. That stuff up there might require a longer nozzle, so we're just gonna leave it. Time being. Here we go. I'm gonna, ooh, it could be very sensitive in this camera mode. Let's turn it down like that. There you go. Okay. Cleaning all this up. Oh no, like that. We're almost through to the other side. It's just a giant sphere. It's very weird. And it's also very difficult to clean just because of how huge it is. It must be happy too. All right, got that done. And I think I'll need a stool for the rest of it, maybe. Let's get out of this mode. And at least equip a longer nozzle, something like this. Let's get around the rest of it. If I can just get through the body part of it, because up there is the, the mount. Electrical device toroid, huh. I don't even entirely know what that means. I guess if we can use the the ladder or the stool to get on top of it, that might be the best bet. Yeah, something like this. Okay, here we go. If that's the case, so I wanna go back to the shorter one. It really is, if you go with too long of one, when you're at a short distance, it doesn't work as well. And then I'll go back to this too. The, the more specific of a cone that we have here, the more power it puts out, so we don't have to, you know, go through multiple passes. Definitely wanna get this cleaned up as much as possible. Same deal over here. Get all those barnacle, barnacles off and everything. Especially in this mode, it's super satisfying to see that. <laughs> okay. Might have to inch over a little bit, but let's just clean up whatever I can. I really wanna get the body cleared out without too many issues where I have to like sort of go back. Cause right there is the mount, this is the body. So the body ends right at that line. Okay, back to it. Just try not to fall off the edge. Make sure to get all the bolts too. The different angles of the bolts can be a really easy spot to miss things it seems. Looking good there. Move over just a little bit. I don't want to fall off or you would think with how much we're blasting this thing with water and just the general shape of it, it might be really easy to slip off. It seems like quite the dangerous job, at least to me. Okay, uh, clean this part off a little bit. Awesome, so there's the body cleaned. Did take us a while to get through the whole thing, but we did a good job. Now we gotta work on the mount part of it, and this is the to toroid. Interesting. It looks like it conducts electricity or something like that. Let's get over here. And then stand up here a little bit. We can't bring the stool up here with us, so we just need to be thorough with our angling. And there we go, we got the mount cleaned. So this part's gonna take a little bit more time, I have a feeling, just because of the weird shape of it. There's gonna be a lot of spots to easily miss. Okay. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, 
There, put it over there for now. <laughs> and let's just continue on this side of it. Make sure I have you yeah, the shortest extension available to me. And I might, oh yeah, I gotta get to the under part of it. Not that low, but just like this. Got it. Same thing over here. Ooh, it's still pretty low on there. Hard to reach that angle. I might have to use the ladder at some point to get that other spot down that way. But if we can just go around this corner, a little bit more like that, we got it, we got it. So back to the other parts of this toroid. Very interesting word. Got it there, getting these barnacles off. So this thing really must have been sitting here for a long, long time to earn up this much gunk and grime, just like with the rest of this. I guess, you know, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy have been heroes for a long, long time. They're also retired, but they still fight crime. Just trying to get a lot of this now. Ooh. I might have to find a way to get the ladder to work with this here. Yeah, just here, I guess? Not the best angle. I mean, for some of it, it works, but not for all of it. Here we go. This is not gonna work super well. But maybe I can, oh no. Can I put it on this side? See, I can't get all the way up with it but from over here. It only works on that angle. So really, sorry if this makes anybody dizzy, but yeah, the best option I have is just jumping around a lot. But we got through this part of it. I guess this is like a separate one. This counts as its own thing. So I will do everything I can to clean this part up now. But honestly, so far we've been making pretty quick work of this Mermelair. I haven't even used any of the soap or anything yet. This part with all of its different ridges and stuff will most certainly be a total pain in the butt to get done now. It's just any moment I get to clean it up quickly, I'm going to try to take Up here. We're slowly getting through the toroid. It's this part up here, yeah, that's a little bit tricky. So this is definitely a good move. Awesome. So let's try working on this part a little bit. I think I'm just gonna do an initial clean through like this and then switch all the way over to this one. Yep, right here. And that should help us get under different angles and stuff. It's just so many different angles to hit this with. These are called the bushings. You can see why, they sort of look like weird little bushes. Okay, and then let's get it from up here. Seems like it's working pretty well. This angle so far though is a little bit difficult. Well, I'm on the very tippity top of it. I think I actually might want to switch to this. The wiggliness can sometimes be useful, sometimes not. Really depends on the circumstance. Okay, while I'm over here, work on this one too. So I'll try to do a bit of this. Actually, yeah, maybe doing it this way is just a bit better. Where I have the camera stuck in one place. And then I will try to get under it real fast. Turn off this mode, and then turn it back on. And see if this is good enough before we get crazy with really trying to get in there with it. So far, it's okay. It's really gonna be at these weird angles that we're gonna struggle to hit it. It's like, yeah, right over here. Oh, especially up there. Oh, that counted, nice. Luckily, it feels a little giving in that way. Okay, so we'll do the same thing over this way as much as possible, just go up and down the the bottom part of it for the time being. And there we go, we got that bushing cleaned. That was definitely very giving. Didn't give us too much of a hard time. Oh, and the bulb is its own thing. Maybe I'll just clean the bulb first. All right, get on this side to do the same thing. Oh no, ooh, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> I almost fell. We got the bulb cleaned up. So it's just this final bushing and then I think this whole thing is all figured out. So we got some on this side. Okay. Don't forget over here. I will try to hit it from just all sorts of different angles. 
because it can be so difficult to get that stuff. Okay, when I lay down, it doesn't really work super well. And plenty more over here, right? Yep, there it goes. This bushing is clean. So as far as I can tell, there might have been one more thing. Uh, I don't know, I'm looking at the, the stuff in the background. So yeah, I think this whole electrical device, whatever it's supposed to be, is all cleaned up. So what should we do next? We have these like pillars that we can work on. I guess we can do that. Just trying to sort of move in one item at a time. This is gonna not be too difficult, I think, but maybe a little time consuming, just because it's such a big pillar. I'll work on this side first. and okay, just try to get clean whatever I can. That was pretty good. And we'll just go as far up as it lets us. It goes, let's just go up pretty far with this. And then we'll, of course, equip a larger one, or a longer one. There we go. Might not need an even longer one now. Just to get those extra little details up there. Oh, and there's that really does point my attention that there is a ceiling shoot up there, though. I, I gotta clean it. We'll do that part later. Don't wanna forget that, though. So there's this side of the pillar, but this is like its own side. So yeah, I guess I should really make sure this is clean then. I think this still counts as the side right over here. So I'll go down like this. Very nice. And then over here, this is the mount of it. You know, let's go and get the mount of it done. Of this pillar. That might be a better way to get things figured out. So along there, the other side of these bolts, and then on this side. Looking good, looking good. What more is there to do? Hmm. There should be a tiny bit more left at the wall mount somewhere. I see, see a tiny little specks of dirt like that. We got it cleaned up. So this counts as the side. Does this? Yeah, this whole little corner part does. So I'll just have to clean back up it again, just until it says we're done with the side. And it's curved up here, which definitely makes it a little bit more complicated. I will switch to that extension, and then I will switch to maybe this one? I might actually wanna switch to this. I think we got it for the most part. Let's not get too carried away because there's more on this side, of course. So once again, get back to cleaning it. And I can make it a pretty quick scoop down, like that, or swoop down, not scoop. <laughs> All right, not too bad. I might wanna switch to this one. There we go, this pillar side is clean. Let's work on this pillar face. I mean, also there's another mount up there. That mount's much harder to clean. What do you know? It's way up there. But I got that side all touched up. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go all the way down it. Just like that. I might even wanna go with something slightly wider. And then maybe just something super close range for this part. Got it. Guess I don't need as wide for this, since it's so close to us. All these little spots, so they need to go. We wanna make sure that this Mermelair is as clean as the day that they made it, which at this point was probably a really, really long time ago. <laughs> all right, clean this part up, and there's the face all dealt with. So let's back it up a bit and work on this side of the side. Got it pretty good. So spots right there. And then do the same thing over on this one. Just until it tells me that I got the whole siding done. Okay. Keep going. And if we focus on one thing for a long time, the reticle sort of disappears, which is interesting. Okay, I think I want to Keep with this, but switch to maybe this extension. There we go. That's feeling pretty good. Especially right over there. This stuff way up this way, I might need the other extension again, but we we'll definitely also, while we're here, try to work on that a little bit. 
that mount's gonna be sort of a pain to fix at, I think. We'll climb on top of this, or over this dirty table. But just a little bit more left for the siding. Just like that, we got it. So now we're just working on this face, which overall shouldn't be too bad. We clean up some stuff over here. Almost there. Oh, we got the mount done with that. Excellent. Sometimes I feel like I'm actually a little too diligent that it doesn't require as much work as I think it does. I just need to do some faster pass throughs and we'll get it done. So let's see if that does the trick. It does. So as far as I can tell, this whole pillar, bright and sparkly red, and comp compared to the, the green it's covered in over there. I guess we can work on that one soon. Ooh, what is this? This is a, a well arm? I guess it might be, oh, it's like some kind of communication device or something, maybe an alarm. Uh, Patrick's messaging us. The costumes of the International Justice League of Super Acquaintances. I guess they're getting their costumes so that they can help out. Cool. So it looks like everybody's gonna be a superhero for the day. Who would you be, SpongeBob? And where are the costumes at? I guess they mean the, these over there that we cleaned. Maybe there's some more soon. Oh, maybe behind those pillars. Whoa, yeah, that's what he's talking about. I'd be the elastic waistband. With those stretching powers, I could change the channel without finding the remote. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Okay. We're doing what we can just to clean all of this up. There's a lot of angles to this one now. We haven't really touched it from this one too much. And we probably, yeah, need to get onto the top of it. So let's get the ladder real quick. There we go. This will make it much easier to get on top of here. And then once I'm up here, I feel like I should, here, hold on, stand on one of these if I can, pick up the ladder, put it over there or something. Uh, it won't let me. Never mind then. I wish there was a way I could just like, reset its position. It's being very not good. We'll go back to the close one. Trying to get under all of these different angles. It's definitely not easy. But over time, we make it work. Okay. Get this part, this whole alarm pipe. So this is an alarm thing. Okay, now I'm sort of stuck. I want to be on the ladder, but I don't want to be on the ladder this much. Okay. We can stay in place on the ladder, though, so maybe that's just what I got to utilize. Got some of that. More over here. Definitely, yeah, keep getting the top of this well alarm. And then over here. Let's hop off. Try this angle a little bit. I can't find the sweet spot for that thing. Over here, there we go, we got the alarm cleaned up. What can I do about up here? There's just more pipes and stuff. Here we go. Uh, let me do this. Okay. Nice, there's that one done. I'll get back up there if I can, because there's certainly some angles from here where we can work on things. Go back to the shorter range one. Oh yeah, it's super dirty on this side. <laughs> Angles really are everything. From one angle, it looks sparkly clean. From the other angle, still a total mess. Got it, okay, so I think that's all of that done. Well alarm, the well pipes. Don't see anything else there. So I guess we can start working on this whole table. I don't really know where to start with it. Maybe the chair. We'll start from this side. Let's clean everything we can see. And then we move to the other side. We clean everything we can see again. The dirty bubble won't know what hit him. That's for sure. I wish we could just power wash away the dirty bubble at this rate. With how much he makes everything a total mess. Okay, there's still a little bit more to do with this chair. But where exactly? I see the inner parts of the backrest. It might be under. So if we get on the ground here, yep. Got it. And is this yeah, this is the closest range one we got. And these this is just like one consistent thing. The chair. It's not like a the legs are independent or anything. There we go. Got it. So let's try out this thing. I sort of accidentally cleaned it a little bit just by 
dealing with the chair. But this is the chemistry lab table. So I will work on this part first, this little corner of it. If we can get the actual table part done, and then get on top of it and clean all the items on top of the table, that's probably the best way to go about it. In my opinion, at least. Here, we'll get under this way. Or we're just crawling around the mermelair right now. Didn't expect that to be on my to-do list today. Okay. Got a little bit more up this way, the sort of the edge of the table. And I think we're about wrapped up for this side. Looks like it to me. Oh, we cleaned up Patrick's identity card. There it is. Hopefully he'll take it this time. That's so cool. I love that. All right, let's go into this side and clean this stuff up as much as possible. There we go. Okay, walking over here, working on this side of the table now. It's been such a fun thing to go through this, though, for sure. Not only because I've now learned that Power Wash Simulator is a really fun and super satisfying game to play, but it's always fun to see these, you know, neat SpongeBob collaborations. I don't know if too many games really have these, but, you know, this plus all the SpongeBob games we've played is always pretty cool. I think the only new SpongeBob thing I'm aware of is I think there's a new SpongeBob mobile game coming out soon as well as uh, they just announced the second Nickelodeon Brawl Stars, or whatever it's called, the, the sort of Super Smash Bros. styled fighting game. I'm excited to see how that plays, because the first one was pretty fun. I played a little bit of it. So there we go. I think we got most of the actual table part done. So we can stand up and start working on the top part of it. So I just want to walk around the perimeter of it as much as I can. The more we work on the outside, the easier it'll be to just deal with everything else after. Okay. Got it. And then this stuff, these stains are a lot more stubborn. You can see a lot of uh, fancy chemistry work has gone on on this table with all these stains and burn marks. But nothing we can't just wash out. That's sort of the oddest thing, is that sometimes we wash away things that wouldn't really be washed away, like rust or burn marks. I don't think it really works that way, does it? You'd just be destroying whatever you're washing. Okay, let's get back on the floor here, if I can. The angling isn't the best, but we got the table cleaned. Okay, that's all I was looking for. Let's try the chemistry tubes. So I'll just try to get through these. little tubes from the top, but then from this other side, just like that. And then I think, yeah, there we go. This is the chemistry flask, right next to the beaker over here. That's the, uh, what did I just clean up? The, the flask hose, gotcha. Okay, this side is all cleaned up, but this side still needs some work. Sometimes I wish it was like a zoom in visually feature, like we can, reach out farther with some of the other stuff, but can't quite zoom in and see the finer details, but it's okay. I go over here, clean this stuff up a little bit. Beaker's all clean. This flask is almost done, maybe. What parts have we missing? Oh, the backside of this, there we go. So I think we're about halfway done of all the contents on this table. Next up we have is this chemistry suspended flask. Okay, this side's going pretty well. Got a little bit more to clean, and then we can move on over to here. Just gotta walk around the whole thing, make sure it's all clean. Over this way now. Totally dirty on this side. Imagine if everything was like the invisible boatmobile and the more we cleaned it, the more it just disappeared. I don't know if that'd make it any easier. I think it'd actually make it more difficult in some ways. Okay, there's that one done. So we're just focused on these chemistry tubes now. Running into some more of them. Oh, 
plenty down here. Oh yeah, I guess we might as well get this one beaker. Oh yeah, there's the inside to clean. That makes a big difference. There it is. Okay, so I think everything on this table is sparkly clean now. That's great. So with that one done, we'll work over to this super acquaintances table and get this all figured out. We have all these super acquaintances, acquaintances chairs to clean up. So I guess we'll get started with that first. Here's chair number one. Cool design to them. They have this fancy, you know, clamshell backing. do everything we can to make them as super as the person they're holding up. In this case, super clean. Okay. Got down there. And then this part of the chair is looking pretty good. What are we missing with this one? Just little pieces, I think, around. Yep, right over here. We still have like, yeah, one, two, three, four, five more chairs just like this one to clean. So definitely take a good note of the little parts that we might miss so that we don't miss over the other one. There you go. Okay, back to this end. This one we sort of inadvertently cleaned off a little bit by just cleaning off the table. So we can get that there over on this side. More of the same. And then we gotta get under the table for this whole part. Gotta do the same over this way. I mean, luckily with such a big area, we're slowly making progress where, yeah, we're 25% of the way cleaned with the whole room. Some stuff does get cleaned easier than others, so who knows how long it'll actually take us. Okay, standing up. But I do remember this episode of when SpongeBob and the gang sort of helped the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy by becoming superheroes. That's when uh, Squidward was Krakatoa and uh, SpongeBob was the one who ran fast, right? I guess Patrick was the elastic one. And what is it? what was Sandy? I can't remember what Sandy was. Maybe it'll come back to me at some point, but it's been a long time since I've seen the episodes. I mean, I used to watch the show a lot when I was young, which is what's so cool is that a lot of you are young, and now you watch the show. The show was like originally airing when I was first growing up, because I think, when did SpongeBob start? Like the year 2000? Maybe 1999 or 2001? I was born in 1996, so I was like right the prime age of SpongeBob becoming popular, but the show still goes on today, all these years later. I'm getting older, but SpongeBob sort of seems to still be stay, staying the same. But honestly, you know, I think that's a good thing. But SpongeBob's a fun show. I'm glad that it keeps going. Okay, we can clean up some stuff over here. I think we're done with the bottom side of it. If we could just get up here, clean the back side of it a little bit. Maybe we'll get a little bit faster with each chair, right? And then this top side over here. Got it, that chair is done. Let's work on this one. I'll try to do this one nice and efficiently just because I'm sure you're getting tired of me cleaning the same chair over and over again. All right, over on this side too. Don't miss the underside of the actual clam. Then we just go through this super fast. We're not being paid by the hour, we're paid by the item cleaned, or per item cleaned. So I guess speed is in our personal interest. Okay, and then over here. Is that it for this chair? It looks like there's still more to clean somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, right on this side. It was going fast at first, but then I sort of called it to me. Some of these are just flat out dirtier than the other ones though, so. Get down there, just like that. Very cool. Okay, over here, more of the same. This is the second to last one of these chairs, and then we can actually clean more unique things. 
This has definitely been one of the more repetitive things we've run into in the CLC is just cleaning all of these chairs over and over again. Oh, we gotta get onto the bottom, like this. Yeah, this underside is what I'm missing. Back up a little bit. And what about that? Come on, just a tiny bit more somewhere. What part am I missing on this chair? Stand back up, and there we go, we got it, cool. One more chair remaining, go, go, go. This one's significantly less sturdy than the other one was, so hopefully that's a good thing. And that means that we can just clean it up real fast. We get under, get all of this stuff figured out. We got it, we got it. And then after this, we'll start focusing on the table and anything on top of it. There we go. Just a little bit more on this side. Okay, one more with this chair. Oh, this whole side of it. Come on, and then the front, right over here. That has gotta be it. There it is, all the chairs are finally completed. We're just, we'll work on this big acquaintances table, which doesn't have anything on top of it, so it should just be a pretty simple job of going through. Just like this. And cleaning it up. Just trying to get speedier at cleaning. Using the uh, dirt vision definitely helps with that. Helps us really find those extra spots that we're missing. These right here, over on this angle. Just trying to get the underside of it because does this count as like its own thing? Like the, the leg, I guess? Not really. So it's just one big item to clean. It's interesting how some things get broken up, broken up into like lots of tiny pieces, but some of it stays as one big thing, just to clean up. See this stuff? I just really wanna get the underside of the table figured out first, because I feel like that's sort of the most strenuous thing. After we get that this out of the way, walking around the side and the top of the table, much easier. It should really only take us a few moments. Okay. And a lot of you have been asking me, you know, whether or not we can do the full series of the game um, after this DLC. It really depends on what you guys want to see. I know that right now I'm pretty busy with a lot of the newer games coming out right now, but uh, maybe at some point we can play through just the main Power Wash Simulator story. Okay, I think we're done with the bottom half of it. Oh wait, there. And a little bit more over here. I think this is just about as good as I'm gonna get it. Let's stand up, if I can. Uh, am I stuck under something? There we go. Then I will just clean up this side of the table, just the side of it, then afterwards, can focus on something else. All right, got it. And whoa, there's a logo on here I didn't even notice before. So this is um, the Super Acquaintances table. You can see right there. I don't know what the IJL stands for. Um, I don't know, something Justice League? Who knows, but Super Acquaintances table, SA for the Super Acquaintances, very cool. So we're getting more of this done. We're 30% through this whole room. I think for this stuff, I should probably switch over to the metal cleaner and just go like this, maybe something like this, and really see how much of a number this can do on stuff. Because if we could just really get a lot of it cleared out, I wouldn't mind. Then we could just play cleanup with a lot of the other stuff. Okay, getting down this way. It seems like it's working pretty well. I mean, obviously it's not supposed to make it sparkling just in one go. We're almost done with it though. So uh, let's just get up there real fast. Anything that can just help us cut into our time with this, I would really appreciate. So if we can do more of the same over here with this one, especially just for those harder to reach. Okay, I can refill it, that's good. I'll switch to a shorter one for the time being. Got it. Same thing over this way. 
because the bubbles just really spread. And like I said, it's not supposed to be one of those things where we just get one pass through with the, the soap, but it does cut out a lot of work for us by just being able to get all of the larger parts cleaned up a bit. But that being said, up here, this stuff seems to be really stubborn. So that might take some time. Okay, with that done, oh wait, yeah, up here, same deal. And we're almost out of this stuff, unfortunately. I don't know if we get, yeah, we're out of metal cleaner. Unfortunate. So that still helped out a lot. If we go like this, we switch to this, you can see it's still a good amount of stuff, but that is much easier to pass through than it was before. So maybe we'll work on the mount first. Just like this. Okay, get over here. Work on this one. From this side too. We'll see if this is enough just to give us that satisfying ding noise. Or will we have to get more specific? Okay, behind the bolts. Just like that. And on this side more of the same. There it goes, awesome. I feel like we're really getting the hang of this. SpongeBob's texting, texting us again. What super acquaintance should I be? Super good question, Patrick. All right, getting up here, just like that. Let's see, I'd be the quickster, able to travel fast distances at the speed of light. Very cool. I'm trying to clean this part up now. And then let's try on this side. Very good. Uh, wait, would I still get tired? If I ran to rock bottom in under a second, then would I collapse of exhaustion? I hope not. I'd imagine if you could run fast, you'd also have the stamina to handle it. Okay. Get over here. If so, I want that. <laughs> Interesting. Why does he want to be exhausted? SpongeBob can be very silly sometimes. Okay, just a little bit more over there. Then we gotta work on the other side of it. Right over this way. Okay, and then all the way back down. There we go, we got that side completed. So let's work on this face of it. Doing as much as I can, just like that. All these little bits too can be easy to miss, but make all the difference in the world sometimes when it comes to actually getting everything 100%. Go like this too. Okay, that's good. All the way back down now that we can work on this side. Quite a lot done there. We're gonna work on the mount of it afterwards. I think there's this side and then another face. <laughs> We're actually hitting the screen over there too. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, work on this part a little bit. I might have to go to a smaller extension just because it's so close to us. That helps out a bunch. And then this side. First do this. And then once we get farther up, Slightly longer extension. There we go, that side's clean. Just gonna work on this face now. There we go. I think I'll just do this for a bit. This can help out in some ways and some angles, but it's not everything. Okay. Got it, so now we just have to work on the mountain over there. So for this, definitely keep to that. Got that side down a little bit, going over here. I can see a lot of that. Way, way up there. We're at the lar largest, longest extension at the moment. If this doesn't help, then we just need a ladder, you know? You can jump a little bit, but. Getting over here, more of the same, I think. And then I see a little bit over here. It's just like the tiniest little bit. There we go. This whole pillar should be completed. That's great, because now we're just working on the other one. <laughs> little bits out of time, right? 
But sometimes it's better to get this sort of, I guess, more boring stuff out of the way first. I'm going to try to make quicker work with this one. I guess with the repeated ones, there is sort of a game within a game you can make of being like, okay, I did that one at a certain speed. Let's see if I can do this next one even faster. Really push your cleaning abilities. Got it over here. A little bit more on this side. Okay, got that mount. We are going to work on the siding again. First right here. Get down on there. Switch to this. And finish off the rest of it. If I can. Okay. Let's get back to this control. Awesome. Just trying to get around the curve of it. Anything with a curved edge that we have to deal with from a distance is always like the worst thing ever in this game because it means we're gonna have to change our angle a bunch to actually get it all. Let's work our way down this side. Just like that. We don't wanna to go too fast with it because then we're just sort of bound to miss stuff. That was pretty good. What's cool is that, at least on the control scheme I have, if I right click, I don't have to hold down the button, it just automatically goes. There we go, so that side pillar is completed. We can work on this part now a little bit. Just wanna clean up this face. Okay. A little bit more over here, come on. Takes a ton of time to really clean up this whole thing. I mean, luckily we're earning up a lot of money as we do it. We're almost at $1,000 now, which feels pretty nice. I think we just need to go down here. And then try this side, because we're just working on this whole siding now. Okay. A little bit more up this way and I think we're good to go onto the other side. I'll try to get this mount part as well. So with that done, what do we have over here? Oh, wait. Right along here, this edge. Still needs some work. Yeah, I guess we haven't really fully done this face yet. Luckily we can jump around a little bit too, make a little bit more of a difference. Okay, we got the face cleaned, and we got the side cleaned, so we're just focused on the mount now. Okay, I see a little bit in that corner, right up there. I feel like our character here must have a tired neck. Just going over this over and over again, looking all the way up. Definitely some hard work with this. I think we're gonna wait before we do that other pillar because I'm getting a little fatigued from doing those. It's the last one we're waiting for there. Why don't we work on the computer screen? Or actually, I really wanna do this. I think we'll see the computer screen for last if not anything else. Oh, the dirty bubble's in there. Okay, we'll leave that one for last for real. I wanna save that because it'd be the most interesting, but what do we have here? Captain Magma. Okay, so this is all the costumes for all the superheroes. We got Captain Magma, which is what uh, Squidward was. He did the Krakatoa, that was his move. Maybe we should do the base of it first. Work our way up. Do the least interesting thing to the most interesting thing. That way it just, you know, <laughs> feels like things just get better and better as we go along. So we'll clean up the base over here. And what was the other type of soap that we had? Just glass cleaner, okay. So I really should use that on the actual costumes. And then also on the dirty bubble thing, but we'll save that for last. Okay, over here, working on the corner, turn back around. And one more time through, like that. It seems like the best way to do it. Okay, this way's much easier because it's just much shorter. And then for this part up here, since it is a lot bigger, I want to use this wider nozzle. 
This is elastic waistband. So that's definitely Patrick. This is the Quickster, SpongeBob, and then finally, Miss Appear. Oh, that's right. Sandy can disappear. I remember now. It's all coming back to me. Since it's, you know, 10 years since I've watched that episode or whatever. I think that was at one point, maybe a few years ago, where I watched through a bunch of the episodes again from the first few seasons, and it's crazy how much of it I remember. <laughs> I guess it's because I watched it when I was very young and impressionable. A lot of it doesn't take that much to remember. Like, once I see it, I'm like, oh yeah, I, I know exactly what happens in this episode. I remember all the jokes. And I guess that also sort of really shows how well written of a show SpongeBob it is. It's, it's really nice. I was watching it back in the day where there was VHSs. So we would get like a VHS with a couple of episodes and we'd just play those. Which some of you, I've, I probably totally lost some of you on what that even is. It's this little tape that you put in a box and you press play. So there we go, we got this part pretty well. I think like the base of it is like almost done. Probably just little spots in there. So I think we go back to this. Just trying to find out exactly what or where I'm missing stuff for the base first before we move on. I gotta imagine it's along yeah, the rims of the, the actual showcase things. Maybe not. Huh. What else am I missing? Okay, I finally got it. I had to look around a good amount to do that. So we'll clean off all each of these now. So Captain Magma, let's get you nice and sparkly. Let's work on this side a little bit. The top parts are probably gonna need a stool or some kind of ladder to get up there. We'll do that soon enough, but I got these tubes to work on for now, so I'm staying pretty busy. And then don't forget that part on the ceiling way up there. That's for much later. Now the back sides of them are still really dirty. Especially since there isn't much else back here. I'm sure it's never been cleaned, it seems. It's the first ever cleaning behind the costume showcase. Pretty cool. I guess at this point, we'll just clean off the back sides of all of them as much as we can. Just keep in mind at this angle. The same thing over here, maybe. It's not gonna give us a ding for any of them until we get to the top of them anyways, so I'm just trying to be diligent with what's in front of us. Got it. And then we have a little bit more over here. And then once again, up and down this side, up and down that side. We'll deal with the rest in the front. And then this again. I don't think I wanna go with any more of a wider nozzle than this, because if, if not, it really doesn't. I mean, I guess I could do this one. You can see it just doesn't do as even as a, of a job. And then I find myself just going through it again anyways, basically entirely over. So I would rather just keep it pretty simple. Use this one. Get that side a little bit. I wonder if for this part specifically, it'd be easier to go into this mode. Feels like it. Got this cleaned up. Maybe not for this part though. Felt like it was better like this. So. A little bit more there, a little bit more here. Just whatever would be difficult to clean from the front is my goal right now. And now we're sort of working around the side of it. Very exciting. I can't wait to walk through this again once it's sparkly clean though. It's gonna be a whole different experience. I feel like we'll be able to appreciate it more because we know all the work that went into cleaning it. I feel like that's the sort of the same idea with a clean bedroom, right? Is that you appreciate it more when you cleaned it yourself because you knew all the work that went into that. So now we're cleaning up the front of Miss Appear. As Miss Appear appears, the dirt disappears. It makes sense, but it's also a complicated sentence. Okay. And boom, actually that does count. So the glass from Miss Appear is all cleaned up. 
So I wonder if that means, oh, the costume display piece is its own thing. So let me make sure, what are we missing with this one then? Got it, cool. Back to this end. I just want to get this all figured out and hopefully the Quickster will be in running shape in no time. There we go. We already got the display. So if I could just clean this part off a little bit, we'll be good to go. Let's start working on the plastic, the elastic waistband. I don't think it's much of a stretch of an imagination to, to know what it looks like super clean now. I'm making up fun with each one, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Okay, got it. And what about the actual nameplate part? Right over there, got it. And also we got Captain Magma. Things are really heating up now. What are we missing for the display glass? Right there, so at this point, we just gotta get to the top of it. But look at these four, so vibrant. I need that right there, ooh, from the distance. Let's get the tops of these figured out. Yeah, the lid of Miss Appear. That was pretty good. Got it. Now let's do the same thing here for the Quickster. A little bit more on that side. Let's back up a little bit. Still not quite enough. Okay, let's move over to here. Oh yeah, sometimes different angles like that can really help. This is for elastic waistband. Okay, back over here then. Very cool. And this is our last one. And these costumes, as far as I can tell, are perfectly clean. Okay. Got it, so yeah, there, there's a costume stand all figured out, looking really good. Now we can try this thing over here. This is the, uh, what is it? The Hand of Justice, oh my. Uh, interesting. Okay, so just like with the other thing, we'll start with the base first, and then work on everything else afterwards. So this is the base of the Hand of Justice. And we have, yeah, the closest one, good. So we'll just clean all of this up as much as we can. And we'll have to go down lower to the ground to get the, the underside of it because of just the shape of the table. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. Just make sure we're getting both sides of the bolts too. This feels like much quicker work compared to what we just got done. So definitely not sweating it. And I think that, you know, that's probably why they gave us two easier levels to start with. We had like, you know, the boatmobile and the, the paddy wagon. Those are both super easy and fast compared to this stuff. So yeah, we gotta go back under here. Just like that. And then move over this side. Probably just do a little bit of that. And then we'll work on this monitor mount in a moment. Okay, a little bit more. And then we can work on the top part of it. So let's hop up here. I think this shouldn't be so bad. This still counts as the base. So I just wanna get this done first. This part is really on there good. I'm not really sure what exactly it is, but maybe I don't wanna think about it too much. Or to clean it, not to, de to describe it or to discover where it came from. Okay, cleaning up a little bit more over here. And right there. There's these little tiny specks that I'm trying to work on now. I think on this side maybe. Oh, I'm getting a little stuck. Hmm. I don't know quite what I'm missing, but it might even find itself, like once we're cleaning other things. So I'll work on the monitor mount a little bit. Just everything we can get to on this side. Got it.
And ooh, I'm seeing some stuff on the wall back there I hadn't noticed before. We should definitely swing by there and deal with that. There's so much to this room, it's crazy. So this one, I feel like, obviously by far, is gonna be the lo longest one to get through. Okay, see a little bit right there? And a little bit right there, got it. Work on the monitor mount a little bit again. I do see some stuff at the tippity top of it. And how much more of this mount do we have? There we go, got the mount done. Oh, I see a little bit more on the edge here. And right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see a little tiny spot, a little speck. Oh, here we go. I missed that huge chunk, that was it. So the base is done. This is the pulley belt for the Hand of Justice. So I guess I'll try to go through and get this. The underside of it too, the small pulley. Hard to get every single angle, but I'm trying. That's her job after all. And then up through here. This is actually where it might be easier to use this. There we go, the small pulley is cleaned. The big pulley we'll work on in a moment, but all about the pulley belt for now. Okay, we'll clean up this side of it just a little. Cause I guess, yeah, the hand is on the pulley and I guess it just spins. What a weird device. I don't really see what this accomplishes. I guess if somebody ran into it, it'd be a problem. Oh, it's actually yellow. I thought it was red. Whoa. So quite the cleanup here with the, the, the hand of the Hand of Justice. Just trying to get it as well cleaned as possible then. So whatever other villain they need to use it for. They can think that they're the first person that got used on, that's how clean it is. They think it's fresh out of the the Hand of Doom factory. The, the Hand of Justice, not Doom. I'm sure that's what the version the villains have. It's the same thing, but that one has the red hand, is the Hand of Doom. Okay, cleaning up this stuff as much as I can. There's still a little bit left for this pulley belt somewhere. But I guess for right now we can do the pulley pole. Definitely clean the top part of it too. Got it? Oh, I do see some spots here. Oh no, wrong thing. I think this is where I go over to this one. There we go. Maybe a little bit over here too. Nice, this is going really well. I don't think there's anything else here except for maybe, I think I was seeing something way over that way. <laughs> okay, could I clean from way over here? Uh, not quite, how close can this get? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I was just curious to see what the reach is. Um, get back to the shorter range one because we still have more stuff to work on here. I think the monitor needs to be cleaned up. The uh, monitor screen first. Okay. Got it. Now we got the monitor case on the outside of it which I'm sure this is gonna be like the whole surrounding of it. And then there's also the monitor antenna. I don't even remember this from any of the episodes. So like, it's just like an original idea. But they thought up like, okay, this might look like it fits in the area, in the, in the mermal air. Who knows? Or maybe they just like, it was just something drawn in the background for a scene. The kind of things you don't really think about until you're power washing every tiny little bit of grime off of it. Gives you a lot of time to reflect, right? Okay. A little bit more on this side for sure. Got it, so the case is cleaned, the pole is good. I think everything relating to this hand of justice is all cleaned up. So I guess we'll work on these little things in the wall now. This is the life buoy wall ornament. Nothing too crazy here. Patrick's messaging us. Whoa, the wall of superhero gadgetry. That was over there. We already cleaned that one. That was pretty cool though. Yeah, I agree. Gotta get the inside of this. And then, ooh, on the top of it too. Lots of little crevices for this one. Um, Look, SpongeBob, the bubble wand of doom, the tartar gun. There's even a paddle ball of fury. Okay, imagine having the skill set to use that. I cannot imagine it. Seems pretty difficult. 
Okay, this seems like mostly everything, but I might just need a little bit of a height boost, so if I can get the ladder and bring it over here, perfect. Now we can really see everything we're missing over here. Okay, life buoy is done. We'll have to do the same thing on this side, so let's just work on this anchor wall ornament. Hit it from all the angles I can here for now. Looks sparkly clean from here, but we turn a little bit and we're like, wait a minute. Plenty more left to get. And then we will work on this side the same way. Really make sure we get that under part. And then if we climb up the ladder, there's more on the top. Okay, we got it, nice. So there's the anchor done. I guess we should work on this thing now. There's so much to this though, I'm sort of overwhelmed. I guess we'll start with the ladder and just work our way through. See the little legs of it? Looks like I could, whoa. Whoa, okay, I can turn the monitor on. That'll be much cooler once I have everything cleaned. Much, much cooler. I love the little interactable parts. They're not like super common. Seems like we only run into them occasionally. But whenever we do, I just, oh, I love it so much. It always has a cool effect to it or something like that. Like opening the hood of the paddy wagon or, or this one turning on the TV. Lots of cool stuff. We could open up uh, Patrick's house before as well. That was one of them. Okay. Is this ladder good? There's the backside of it for sure. And I think we gotta get under the little spots where we put the legs, or we, 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 we put the legs where we're stepping up it like that. The steps of the ladder. Okay, there's just like some tiny spot to this I'm still missing it seems, okay. Maybe here. Getting that is really difficult. Maybe from this angle. I guess not. Huh. Oh, you know what? Probably this right here. Got it. Nice. So let's stay down here for the time being. I want to work on this base a little bit more. Let's work on the base of the base just by going around this edge. Doing something more like this. Got it. Oh, wait, oh, missing a little bit. The colors sort of blend together here. I think for the most part that's good. It's the little edges in the corner, but I don't think I want to get too carried away with that. There we go. Oh no. So far so good. This pipe being in the way is sort of a problem, but we'll just move her around it for the time being. Cause that's its own thing right there, the computer cable is its own whole deal. But after this part, we've made our way around. We have so much more of this base left though. This is definitely just gonna take a lot of work. But honestly, I've been avoiding it for a reason. I think this is probably gonna be the most labor intensive part. Uh, but slowly but surely we'll get through this thing. Oh, what is this? Uh, alarm light, huh? Let's clean that up then if possible. Gotta get the little under bit, there we go, that's what I was missing. Let's work on this then. So this counts as the computer stand, where does it become the base? Okay, it really is just this one part here. So if I go back through again, I really wanna get the computer base fully cleaned up before I move on to anything else. So I'm guessing it'd have to be these parts over here. Got it, okay. So now it's just the computer stand, which is gonna be a lot more involved. Got it. So satisfying to see this all get cleared up though. If you take a look around, it's looking real nice in here. <laughs> Still by my little smiley face funny. So this counts as a stand. So it's not really the base that's gonna take a lot of work, it's a stand. I thought they were one and the same. Not quite the case. Okay, over this way. And then let's try this one. Gonna get down here a little bit. Looking good. Oh, 
All right, and is this, that's the computer console. So that's as far up as I need to go for now. I'll have to get on top of it sooner or later, but that'll be later. So the backside here, definitely gonna take a lot more work. I'm ignoring the cables for now, like we'll clean up the spots around the cables, of course, so that we can actually get this stand done. But we'll come back to the actual cable cables later. And does this count as the stand still? I think so. So definitely this crevice right here seems like it could most definitely be a pain. So I just wanna get in there as much as possible. A lot of work to be done with this. So I just really wanna make sure we get every angle, but we do so efficiently. Okay, a little bit more down here. Looking pretty good. Okay. Once I clean up that spot there, we're back to this side. I'm just gonna steamroll through it as much as I can. Very, very nice. Just gotta get those little spots, but we're getting a whole lot closer to getting the sun. I think right now that the hard part is just the, uh, the the top of it, not the ceiling of it, but the top of it. So let's climb up this ladder and get started with that. Totally different color under all the gunk. It's like when your room's really messy and you forget what color the carpet is and then you clean it, you're like, oh, yeah, that's right, it's that color. Except we've never actually been here before. So whatever color is what is anybody's guess. It's a total mystery. The floor here is cleaning up quite nicely though, so that's at least good. I'll get over like this and then we'll just get this done. Here, a little bit more over that way. I don't think I quite have a long enough reach for that at the moment, but that's okay, because we can just work on this stuff. Okay, let's move over. Do the same thing here. Crouch down, how much more is left of the sand? I think it's gonna be little corner pieces like this that we gotta work on. Just make sure that this is all dealt with. Got it. See, I don't know if that counts as the sand or the, the console. It looks like it counts as the console. So what am I missing here for the stand? Hard to tell. I guess I could do the same thing down this way. It makes a little bit of a difference. I think I just gotta clean up the bolt parts of it, maybe a bit more. All right, we finally got the base. That was definitely a troublesome one to find all the full percentage for, but it was just that little crevice there. So let's work on some of the cables now for the computer. It's gonna be easier to do these now than to deal with it later, right? So while we're already here, I just wanna get this all cleaned up. Very nice. Don't forget this spot here. And maybe I can even get up the, the ladder a little bit. Here you go. Of course, there's little dips in the different parts of the cable which make it ever so slightly more difficult to clean. Okay, how much more are we looking for for this one? I see that spot there, there, and there. Oh, here we go. And then just sort of the port for the cable might be what we're missing. Okay, what if I were to jump from here? Okay, I can't do any crazy platforming. The rest of it might need to wait. Was there another cable? Was that it? I guess that was it. So how else do I wanna handle this? Maybe we get it back up here and clean up some of this. Oh, definitely get the, the lever base. Right over there, got it. And then of course the actual lever, which if we activate it, yeah, we can get a different angle pretty easily. Activate it again, got it. Glad to get those things out of the way. Let's work on the chair now. Okay. I see this side a little bit. It's funny that it's a computer chair when it really is just a chair at a computer. Nothing specifically about it is like computery, I guess. We're designed to be at a computer. Definitely get back here too. I might have to hop down like this. Okay. Ooh, and on this side. 
How much more do we have left? Maybe the underside of it? Hard to tell. There's gotta be a little piece of this chair somewhere. There we go, that we haven't cleaned. So while we're down here, let's get the bottom side of the computer. Just like that. The whole console needs to be cleaned, so. We might as well start here. Okay, now we'll stand up. All these little buttons too. The button board. Red, orange, and blue, all cleaned up. And then over this way, we got the computer console gauge there. This one as well, and then another button board here. A red one, both orange and red, all cleaned up. So everything on sort of the interface dealt with pretty nicely so far. We got another computer console button. We got two more of those. Okay, what angle do we need to hit that? There we go, we got both of them. And then this is gonna be a computer console lever. Whoa, it was right underneath there. Didn't even look like it at all. Okay, this one's yellow, gotcha. Stand up here, we got that one and that one, cool. So all the controls on the computer are dealt with. So if I could just start working on everything over here, maybe this is good. At this point, yeah, I'm just pretty dedicated to dealing with the front side of everything. Before we get into everything else. Okay, little bits out of time. I think this is where I could probably, oh no, use a wider one for a little bit. Yeah, something like this. But as you can see, it really takes a lot of going over, over and over again, but it does eventually work. At the least it gets a lot of the easier gunk and grime off, so maybe if we just focus on that for now, everything else will fall in place pretty well. I'll just sort of work on what we can see and go from there. Okay, and then definitely all of this. I think I'll switch to this mode for a bit. Yeah, there we go. Visually, I guess this is easier to catch up with. Okay, this is where we switch back to this one. Yep, okay. And that gets it off a lot more specifically. I think we might just wanna switch to this nozzle too. There you go. Now we're working with it. That way too, all the gunk and grime and sort of the rust too. I think I might wanna go even longer here. I guess that's working? Hard to tell, I think it might just be the angle. Not really doing as much good. I'm so determined to get everything clean now. We've been working at this for so long, so. Let's switch back to this mode. What more of this screen needs to be cleaned? So screen is at like the tiniest little bit. So work around the edges of it. Oh, I definitely see over there, the screen is clean. So we got the computer case around the side here. I don't expect to get every little bit of this clean from here, but you can at least get started with it. I wonder if we can get the ladder up there. Ooh, okay. That definitely changes some things up. So I might just want to get this out of the way now. I'll get as close to the edge as possible. So please be careful, I'm sure it's slippery. Very treacherous things we have to do here as a power washer. Not a job for everyone, but we're willing to do it. Once we get this corner covered, then I'm gonna hop back down. Okay, so. Work on this side now a little bit. And once we do, I'll pick this up, and I guess for right now, I'll put it there for now, because I wanna clean this up first. Then as we get higher up, we'll definitely need that ladder. But the computer consoles may be one of the biggest things we've had to clean so far, because it's just all of this. So that's the computer case. Hmm. Okay, I could just try to get under here real fast. Got it and over there too. And then that part might be a little bit more of a pain. But let's work on this side now. I wonder what they use such a huge computer for. 
Why can't they just have like a normal desktop computer? I guess because they're superheroes, so everything has to be super size. That's just how the lifestyle goes, I suppose. Let's put that there, just so it's not as much in the way. Because we're still trying to figure out this computer cable, right? Don't, okay, there we go, Never mind. I got it. I was gonna say, I don't know exactly what I'm messing with it. Little more like that. Uh, ooh, okay, I do see more inside that little crevice there. I have to use this, maybe this one actually. Just go all the way down it just like that. There you go, that definitely helps. Back to this and to this, and while we're up here, just keep working on it. This is doing pretty good. It's never gonna be, you know, super easy on the first pass through. I definitely think we did a good job here. So the computer console's almost finished up at this rate. I think it really is just like this higher up part. So if we could just do this. Yeah, I can see it. It was like the sort of the base of it. Okay, this is where I definitely need the ladder then. So ladder there. Okay, turn it on again. Turn it back off. I wanna turn it on once we're finished with everything. Okay, this angle too. Oh no, ooh. I can sort of climb up the ladder at slightly different angles though, which is nice. There's that one, get over here, do more of the same. So it's really this top part is all we're missing for the, uh, the console. So we'll do that, like I said, hop back down, get a different angle for it. Do that one more time, and we're cooking. Or we're computing. Cleanly computing. I still see this extra stuff down there that has me nervous, like that that's gonna be an issue. So I could just get that figured out a little bit as the uh, progress meter for the computer gets smaller and smaller. I don't know, getting stuck a little bit. Right there. This is taking me a ton of time to get through. I mean, I was sort of expecting it, but more time goes on, the more I'm over, sort of overwhelmed with how much time this is taking. But this is definitely the biggest task of it all. Once we get this done, I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier. There we go. We got that cleaned, the full console. So now we're working on just the actual computer or the monitor case, which I guess the computer is inside of this, right? Sort of. Here, let's switch over to this thing. and I might wanna actually go for a longer one. There's just so much to do here. I think what might be a better idea for now is to move the ladder, because it's sort of in the way. Okay, back to it. Let's see all sorts of stuff we can work on here. I might yeah, point the camera a little bit higher up. It's all those little spots here that we need to work on too. Doing a little bit of wiggly movements seems to help. Okay. And clean up some of that just for good luck. There we go. I'll have to get back on top of the computer soon, but as long as we can figure out some of that, let's go back to this mid and then this way. Just try to get that. I'll need the ladder for that for sure. But I guess in the meantime, whoa, I did not mean to get onto the ladder from here, but maybe this is actually a good angle. Whoa, this is actually great. Worked out pretty well then. So I can head back down over here. Just trying to get these dials. Yeah, these are the monitor sockets, which do have their own percentage, so good to keep in mind. I'm just trying to clean up all this too. We might have to move the ladder over to the other side of this wall then. That might be good. A little bit more here and there. We're almost done with this little section of it. Such a huge computer from this side, for sure. I will get it over like that. Climbing back up. Oh yeah, definitely this part needs more work. 
There we go. We got one socket clean there. We get the other one. There it is. All right. Don't have to deal with that anymore. Fantastic. Oh no, falling off the ladder. All sorts of little things still left to grab. We're gonna switch over to this mode. Lock the camera in place and just clean up as much of I can of everything. We're almost done with it. It's a marathon, not a sprint, of course, when it comes to power washing. At this point, I think we can comfortably say we're power washing pros, right? Okay, a little bit here, a little bit there. There's still just little tiny pieces all over the place. Okay. Getting back down this way just to get some different angles of stuff. And then we'll try to get back up there with some, the ladder sort of moved around. Cause I think I just need to work on this now. This monitor key, so it just, it requires so much work. I could try this one. I think at this rate, it only does so much though. There we go, there we go. And it gets that initial layer off, but then we gotta go back to this for all of this stuff. And then don't forget yet down there, that little crevice under when it sort of curves inwards, that's always the worst part of any clean it's just those little tiny spots where you have to crouch down at a weird angle to get it. Not the most fun thing to deal with, but we find a way. There's nothing we've run into that we couldn't clean just yet. Everything we've cleaned 100%. So it gives that very satisfying ding. Okay, get back up here. Well, actually, I already see a little bit of stuff under here. Oh, I see. It goes inwards. I think I got it. Under here then, same deal. And I think we're at this spot where we probably just wanna to climb to the top, start cleaning from there. So pick up the ladder again, put it right there, and we're getting up there. Let's see what we can do with this whole part. This is definitely where I can go into the smaller nozzle again. We can go with this one. And I can first just do a quick pass through. So there he is, the so sauce of, of evil. The sauce of all evil. I guess they mean the dirty bubble. I'm not quite there yet, guys. All right. I guess we'll just talk about that then. The dirty bubble trapped in the brine of justice. Ooh, fancy. And this side a little bit more. It still says that there's so much left to do here for the computer key, so. Like crazy how much labor this thing specifically takes. Okay. Do this spot. Yeah, it's these deeper marks that become an issue. Little spot over there. And I think we got it. I guess SpongeBob is done talking for now. I miss him already. almost through this. I'd be worried that, you know, completing or power washing a computer like this would be quite dangerous for the health of the computer. You'd think it would make a short circuit or something, but this thing's holding together pretty well. What I saw before, the monitor still turns on, even though we power washed the socket to it. <laughs> Interesting. Unfortunately, I don't think you can do that. I mean, I guess it makes sense that everything's water Proof when you realize that we're also under the ocean. <laughs> so maybe that's the, the trick. But uh, I, I guess you can't do that out of the ocean very easily. I guess by default, all of the uh, different computer equipment is automatically waterproof, because if not, how would it work in the first place? Okay, getting over here, a little bit more of this corner. It's just that tiny little bit again. There we go, we did it! Oh man, so glad. I don't think there's really too much more left to do here, so we're just gonna stand back up. And oh, take a look at this thing. It's all clean, super sparkly. We can turn it on and watch our show. 
cool. Honestly, that on for now, it's sort of mesmerizing. What do we want to do now? I think we should probably clean that, which I'm sort of at a good angle to get started with it at the least. We just want to clean the underside of it first from every angle that we can. And then we'll climb up ladders and stuff and try to get it done that way. And we'll work on that pillar. And then as far as I can tell, we'll just have the dirty bubble to do with. Ooh, it's been a long time coming, but we're almost there. Okay, so once we get stuff done at this angle, like I said before, I'll move over to another one. I definitely need the ladder because this sort of pinches inwards in a way that is gonna be very difficult to deal with. So actually, now keep that there. Try to climb up it if it lets me. Uh, uh, sort of, there we go. And work on this side. No, 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 keep going up. Oh no, <laughs> going a little too high up. Oh, darn, see if you just keep running up it like that, eventually you just sort of yeah, fly off the side of it, which I do not want. This is the ceiling chute. So I guess, yeah, if they're coming in from the surface, they plop in through here as a dramatic entry. Good to know. I will try to go back down it a little. I don't know, I said a little. Okay, that's fine. I think we can just work on more of it from here. We don't have to get every crazy detail, detail straight away. Can always double back through some of it. Jumping around seems to help. We can stand on the table that we just cleaned not too long ago. Okay. But it's all that stuff up there, huh? So I think ladder, put it there, climb on up, and deal with this. Might need to go a little bit farther up. Okay, come on. A little bit farther up. We got it. Oh, there's this lamp here too. I didn't see that before. So, see we're noticing new things to clean up all the time. It never ends, does it? <laughs> there's always something to clean. And by the time you clean everything, the stuff you started cleaning at the very beginning has gotten dirty again. <laughs> That's how it feels at least. Okay, we'll get over here. Try to do the same thing for this big patch of it, and we're done with the ceiling shoots. Now we're working on this over here. Uh, this is the last pillar we needed to get through, so I would like to make quick work of this pillar. We'll see if that's actually gonna happen, though. Getting over here. Nice. Trying to get rid of the base first. Little spots over here, too. we already have the mount almost done. I think it's just these little parts with the bolts. There we go, we're done. So let's work on the siding a little bit. And way up here. Don't forget this lamp too. While I'm at this angle, I might as well clean some of it. Whatever it'll let me do. I will go to this one real fast just to get some of these different angles, but I wanna stick to this one where I can. I think I just need a longer range thing. Okay, not so bad. I will maybe just go through the whole thing as much as I can reach with this first, and then we'll get the longer range thing to clean up everything on top. That might just be a better strategy overall, because this feels pretty efficient so far. Just need to make sure we hit these angles too. I feel like I've gotten a whole lot better at you know, catching that stuff out. We are able to get most things clean without having to search through the whole thing for that one little speck anymore. Definitely on the first episode we did of this, that was a lot more of a struggle. Okay. And, oh yeah, also this. Very good, very good. I'll have to get the top part of it at some point, but let's not get too carried away. This table's sort of in a way for our purposes, but it's all right. We'll just get to the other side of it. Continue to clean. The sort of speed up version of everything we do here at the end is gonna be so fun to watch though. With how much work this one's taking, that's gonna be the best part. Just trying to scrub our way through the rest of this. I think that's it for this part. So what I have to do, switch the extension and go back at it again. So for right now, I just wanna work on one thing at a time, I suppose. If I could just 
it as many angles with this as possible. And we know that we don't need a ladder or a stool to get this done, because we've done it before without those things. We get this side incomplete, or that's the face of it. Yeah, that's the face. This side definitely needs some work. A little bit more over here. And we'll just go straight down like this. There we go. That's it. What about on this side? Oh, oh. Move over. We're back to it. Definitely that little corner if we can. Okay. We're slowly getting there. I think I clean a little bit more of the, uh, the dirty bubble area over there too. Just by accident. I really do want to save that for last, so I want to make extra sure before we move over there that we got everything else first. But just a little bit more up here. Got it. A little bit more down this way. Oh my goodness. There we go. We got that side. This has still got to be cleaned up though. So this face, I guess, still needs some work somewhere. Or maybe not. Oh no, it's this side that needs work. Where exactly are we missing stuff? I don't see anything over here. Uh, right there, right? There it is, cool. So now we can work on this side a bit more. Nice. And then, ooh, okay. Anything more? The mount. The mount somewhere. It looks like all that stuff. I gotta switch, not to this, but to this. Difficult to get the perfect angle for this, but we just go like this a little bit. Come on. I might have to do the wiggly one. There we go. Perfect. I can't believe it. This whole thing is finished up. So let's try this thing now. I see a lot of different angles we need to hit with this thing. But I guess first things first. If we get, get the light bulb clean, and then the top part of the lamp. Seems like a good plan. Hmm. I want to get on top of this table. Hopefully we don't dirty it with a... Uh... Oh geez. Was this uh, us standing on it? But I think I need the ladder. Where's the ladder at right now? Right over here. So I grab this, put it over here. And we just try to get more of this lamp. I do see, yeah, this angle here is what I've been trying to get to. Oh, I can't stand on it though, come on. I wish the ladder worked a little differently sometimes. Oh my gosh. Get me up there. There we go, we got it. So, as far as I can tell, this lamp is finished. If I run through, I don't see too much else. It says we're 90% of the way clean. So if I like pause the game, um, everything that isn't clean is like the prison chamber, prison, prison, prison. Gotcha, so it really just should be cleaning up the dirty bubble. And what's better to do with a dirty bubble than some soap, right? So I have the glass cleaner soap, and the deep cleaner nozzle, and we can just get cleaning with you. Oh, you do not look happy about it. <laughs> he does not look pleased in there. He's like, get that soap away from me. He likes bubbles, it's not soap bubbles. Using up as much of it as I can though to really get this super squeaky clean. Got some more up there, so if I just rush over really quickly, grab the ladder and I guess get it here or something. I might need to get, yeah, okay, the shortest range. And then try to get up here. This part's a little tricky for sure. I don't know if we have more than one bottle of this. I would hope so, but yep, out of glass cleaner, we don't. Okay, while we're up here though, we might as well make the most out of cleaning and really get those kind of edges. Prison chamber, frozen tartar. Huh. So it's not just glass, it's a frozen tartar. Whatever that's supposed to mean in this situation. Okay, just trying to get some more of this. Stay close to the edge, but not so much so that we fall off. Probably wanna move the ladder at some point because it's gonna definitely block off my ability to clean that section. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. This whole spot is pretty dirty still, but I can get it all clean. About too much of an issue. We're even getting some of the stuff down there. Oh, we're cleaning up all the gauges down there too. We're multitasking right now. Not so bad. Oh no, I'm falling. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're almost done with this, I think, sort of. Let me move this over there. And this is where I can maybe at least get something like this. Still a lot of work, but we're getting close to this whole prison chamber being cleaned up. Get over here too. This stuff is really stubborn to get off though. I need to focus it down for a good few moments most of the time, especially over here. Seems to be where it's like the most difficult. You can really see that, or at least the angle doesn't work too well for it, so we'll have to get higher up. Which I think will just climb up onto the, the terminal there, a little bit this, uh, the prison chamber. That's the prison chamber, but this is the prison chamber, frozen tartar. We have this stuff, that's what I'm trying to get rid of. Um, we need much closer, much, much closer. Okay, maybe we should get carried away with that later. There's still plenty of stuff on this part we gotta do. Then we can focus on this. Oh, we got another prison chamber button cleaned. I'm trying to save that stuff for later. Not because I don't want to do it now, I just know it'd be satisfying to do it all at once. So, if we could, just leave it be before we get this frozen tartar figured out. So we're getting a whole lot closer with this. Okay. Just trying to get the edges of it now. I do still see little spots like this. This is once again another section where the color of the, the dirt highlight is the same color as the thing we're trying to clean it to. So it can be really hard to notice where the dirt is. Got a little bit more here. And I mean, I think that's most of it. If we can get little spots like this. There we go, the frozen tartar is clean. Let's focus on the actual computer now. So we have all these gauges and stuff we're gonna have to clean up, like that one and this one. And don't forget all of these. See, we got this like, uh, what is this? The prison chamber joystick. Okay, there we go prison chamber bulb. Gotta make sure every inch of all of this is super cleaned up. We got that button. Okay. Gotta get the back side of the bulb, of course. That ding will never not be so satisfying. Makes me feel nice to get that done. There was another button as well, a button board. This is just another cable too. Good amount of it there. All right. And, uh, okay, here, this cable I wanna clean up. The dirty bubbles is frozen there watching us. <laughs> I don't know if you can actually tell what's going on. See me wash away all this good work, right? This cable still has a bit more to it. Somewhere, oh, under here. Sneaky, that's got it. These parts are also still needing to be cleaned. The actual chamber thing is really what takes the most amount of work though, but honestly, it cleans well. We don't have to double over a lot of stuff. I guess the gunk and grime on this isn't too bad. We've already gotten like the top edge of everything there. We don't have to worry about that part as much. We'll get this bulb. We have the closest one, so we're fine. And, oh whoa, can I unfreeze him? Let's not mess with that. That'd be so interesting. Would it make the whole room dirty again? That'd be the worst thing ever. Imagine I spent all this time, all these hours, cleaning everything. I, I flick a switch accidentally, and boom, I gotta clean it all again. Be extra careful around here then. Okay, got this spot. Let's not go too much farther before starting to focus on these buttons, which seem good. Got that one. 
the bulb over here needs to be cleaned a bit more. Got it. A little bit more for this bulb. Looking good. And then over here. That switchboard is finished up. I'll get more of the base part over here. Which once again, we're sort of zooming through this dirt that's caked on. Isn't too bad. Almost finished with the button board. Just gotta get up here a little bit. That's it. More levers and joysticks. Really making sure he stays frozen in there a long time with all this advanced technology. Okay. And then this is another fancy lever. I think I have to hit it from the backside though. What are we missing with this one? Let's just get this bulb too. <laughs> Yeah, whatever I can from this angle while we're up here. But we've almost made a full circle around the whole thing, so that's good. We're at 99% through, so exciting. So this bulb still has a little bit more. Got it? And what about this lever? The lever looks good. Okay. Ending up a bit more here and there. Cables can always be a bit of a pain, especially since I gotta clean under them like this. Don't forget the inside part. Okay, over this way. I see it, there we go. Excellent. And this is like the final stretch of it. I really hope this is it. Come on, come on. We get the board, the button, the gauges. Some of these gauges I think we already cleaned. Got it. Over here, same deal. We only have a few more things left and I think they're all right in front of us. This bulb. Come on, just a little bit more. Got it. Okay, well that was the chamber. This bulb is still got some dirt on it and then this little joystick here, right? Which one are we missing now? Uh, This one? No, this one, no, this one, nope, this one, somewhere. There we go, we did it! Oh my goodness, that took forever. But after so much cleaning, the Mermel Air, it, it's crystal clean, crystal clear, it's looking pristine. I'm so happy with it. Let's see our speed up montage. We were all over the place, up, down, all around, from the ceiling to the floor and everything in between. We got this place good as new. Just like when Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy were just new heroes on the block. Yay, everything's back to normal in Bikini Bottom. Sandy's singing, Plankton's plotting, and Mermaid Man is mobilizing. Who knows, when the dirty bubble served his time, maybe he'll become a clean little bubble, wafting happily around the place. I'm doubtful. We can't thank you enough for helping us clean up our little mystery. Without you, we'd still be knee-high in grime and crime. Anyways, got a dash. We're throwing a surprise party for Squidward to say sorry for all the mess we made. We invited the whole town. Squidward's gonna love it. Goodbye, friend, and thanks again. So with that being said, we have completed the full SpongeBob SquarePants DLC here in Power Wash Simulator. Six exciting levels where we went from grime to clean. It was a ton of fun. I would love to hear which level was your favorite as well as if you've played the DLC yet. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the videos throughout this series. I didn't really think many people would be interested in watching me clean uh, just dirt, <laughs> but a lot of you were and I really appreciate it. So if you wanna see me play more Power Wash Simulator, definitely let me know. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Power Wash Simulator, the SpongeBob SquarePants DLC. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.